Hello everyone, it is the Storming Dragon here, back at it again with, I believe, our fourth Stormy Speed Paint episode. And today I am actually doing fan art of How to Train Your Dragon Next Generation. If you don't know what How to Train Your Dragon is, what's wrong with you? Have you been living under a rock? <laughs> All in joke. So I want to be talking a lot in this one because I wanted to start talking more in them because I feel like last time I just, it was more quiet than it needed to be. So hopefully this one will be more talkative. Uh, I do stumble over my words a lot. I'm trying to get better at that, but I'm not good with speaking, I guess, in general. So <laughs> we'll see. So right now I'm doing the line art. I did the sketches beforehand. Right now I am working on Hiccup and Astrid's kid, uh, their firstborn. Her name is Zephyr. Zephyr, I believe that's how they pronounce it. I'll put the name up on the screen, maybe, hopefully. But yeah, I'm just outlining her outfit. I actually hugely based her outfit off of Hiccup's flying suit from, I believe, the second movie. And to me, she was just very. Uh, she took a she took a lot from Hiccup's side. Uh, I watched uh, all of the How Do You Train Your Dragon movies, all of the series, and uh, all the specials, including uh, How to Train Your Dragon Homecoming. This was actually inspired by How to Train Your Dragon Homecoming because we saw a lot of his kids' personalities, and I really enjoyed it. I wish that they would do a little series spinoff series with their kids, but. I don't think that's going to happen. I think they should stop the franchise as it is and not drag it on. So uh, back to Zephyr's uh, outfit. I based it off of her personality. I didn't want her to wear a skirt or anything because I wanted her to wear the flying suit because she, like her dad, is an explorer and an inventor. So she takes off. She takes after her father. Uh, I just want to say that right now I'm working on a uh, Light Fury, uh, or a, a Night Fury, a uh, Night Light. Uh, the Light Fury and Two Fliss's offspring, one of them, there's three of them. Uh, I have not drawn a Two Fliss before, surprise, surprise, so it might look not right. I did my best. Hopefully it looks good. Um, so I want to talk about uh, Nothing. Now, Nothing is uh, their second kid, Astrid didn't hiccup second kid, and is their youngest, who is a boy. And he just seems very, he was adorable. He reminded me of my little nephew named Caleb, and I just fell in love with him. Like, I fell in love with all of them, like, holy crap. But I want to talk about him and how I feel like he takes after his mother a lot with personality like he's kind of a warrior and he's not not much of a thinker even though Astrid was a thinker obviously but I mean he's more street smart while his sister Zephyr is more technical smart if that makes sense I also want to say for the record I do not like what they call Two Flisses and the Light Furies children for some reason. I don't know why their names just don't really stick out to me. Sorry if you hear some tapping in the background and slurping up water. My dog is drinking and he is adorable. Uh, so anything, anyway, I don't really like what they named the Two Flisses kids. It's Dart. I think their names are Dart. Pouncer and Rough Runner. My dog just laid down, so that's sorry, that's why I went silent. Um, so I don't really like their names. I don't know what else to call them. Uh, I might give them my own names. 
I don't know, probably not. But right now, as you can see, I'm coloring her, uh, I'm coloring Zephyr off of images I found on Google of her character and of Hiccup's fly suit. Uh, I gave her Stoic's red hair because that's what she has in the series. And I think that's really cool that she has, and I think it's very, it's very cool and sentimental that she has Stoic's red hair. I really like and love that they gave her that. Okay. Uh, I want to talk about, as I'm coloring, uh, I want to go off and on talking about how I think of the first movie, the second movie, and the third movie. Uh, so, Race of the Edge was a series, and I loved that show. I loved it, I think, better than the than the third and second movie. Now, the first movie is my favorite. That's always going to be number one to me. I, <laughs> in a literal sense, too. Um, but I just really loved and enjoyed it that movie out of all of them. Um, and I feel like the second and the third one was a completely different atmosphere. I don't know if it's because, no, it wasn't, no. It wasn't because the characters were older. That's actually what made the sequel and the uh, third one good, was that they actually made the characters age, which is something a lot of studios don't do. Like Despicable Me, the Incredibles, they didn't age the characters, and that threw me off a bit. I didn't really like that they didn't age the characters for some weird reason. It made the movie less appealing to me. But anyways, back to the uh, How to Train Your Dragon movies. I really liked the first one. The second one seemed very dark to me. Like, darker than the first one, even though the it, it mostly was similar similar with the atmosphere except like they knew more they were more open and a bit more modern i guess you can say i don't know how to say it um and the third one i don't know it just was very goofy to me probably because of that scene where hiccups trying to <laughs> impress the light fury which is a hilarious scene uh but yeah um so definitely i really liked the first one out of all of them um with the third one the thing that i did not like about that the third movie was hiccup's dialogue at the end when they're spoilers alert when they were going to see two fliss i didn't like his dialogue like when i was a boy there were dragons like there was dragons when i was a boy uh and then like they were talking about how like the legends of like the like when they hear like mountains roar or something like that or volcanoes or whatever the di <laughs> the direct dialogue was it seemed very like dude you are like not it has not been that long since the dragons went away your kids are a new age generation and they are they don't look older than like 12 to me so yeah i didn't really was feeling his dialogue that and i'm pretty sure uh that Zephyr, at least, was a honeymoon baby for Hiccup and Astrid because they didn't have protection back then. <laughs> Getting into that subject. Nah, I'm moving out of that subject. Um, so, that's probably the only thing that threw me off. Also, I feel like the villain was not... was not worth being the final boss, if that makes sense. I think that him and the second movie's villain would have been better if they were switched because i don't know i just didn't like the third one's villain he didn't seem threatening he didn't seem he didn't seem right if that may if that makes sense i don't know you could have your own opinions about the movies these are just mine okay so um back to this drawing back to this fan art uh, i think i got everything out of the way that i, I did 
with the movies. Uh, my favorite character is probably Hiccup and Astrid. I really like Snotlout in uh, Race of uh, Race to the Edge, but in the movies, I don't really like any of the background characters um, because they don't have a lot of spotlight. I really liked Rough Nut in no Tough Nut. I really liked Tough Nut in the third one because <laughs> she was just funny, like funny scenes everywhere in the third one. It was just goofy to me. Um, but in Race of the Edge, I really love all the characters. Uh, I really love them each and individually. Like, it's hard to pick a favorite with Race to the Edge, but when it comes to the movies and like compare them all together, all the series, all the movies, all the spin-offs and specials, I really liked... Uh, I really like Hiccup and Astrid, honestly. And in different ways. Uh, I used to really love Gopper, but that's only in the first one. In the second and, like, third one, I hated what they did with his character. He, like, no, the writing for his character was, I don't want to say bad, but it wasn't, he didn't seem into his character. Like, he seemed different from the Gopper from the first movie. He seemed more wimpy and more out of place, out of character. Anyways, uh, this... I'm gonna have to start wrapping up my thoughts here because I'm getting close to being done with this video. Uh, so with Toothless's kids, I made the one with blue eyes and the white nose seems to be the dominant child and he is actually Zephyr's dragon. I made him be Zephyr's dragon and uh, he's a boy. Uh, I read on Twitter or Instagram that uh, that the one with blue eyes was a, was a boy and the one with green eyes, uh, black one with green eyes was a girl and I don't know, I really liked the thought of one boy and two girls and I really liked in Homecoming how the white one and the green eyed black one kept on like, like fighting back and forth, like that was so cute. So I'm like, they're sisters who fight. Um, the white one of the kids is uh, Nothing's dragon, and the leftover child is actually another a character of the next generation that I made up, who is another one of the crew's kids, uh, Snotlout's kid. I was gonna make him be Snotlout's kid, uh, kids is because I just liked Snotlout and Race to the Edge. I'm trying to think what else to say before we go. Um, no, I think I said all that I needed to say. So right now I'm just finishing up, um, shading. Yeah. But, hey, if you guys don't know what How to Train Your Dragon is, I definitely recommend looking, uh, checking out the franchise. If not, it's not for everyone, but it's just a really good franchise, and... I will see you guys later. Hope you enjoyed. If you uh, guys want me to do more fan art uh, in the future, I probably won't. This is was like a one-time thing because I love How to Train Your Dragon. Uh, so, and I'm not big on fan art. Like, if you noticed, I don't do a lot of fan stuff on my channel because I'm all for my stories and my original ones. I'm like too focused on those to be paying attention, but I just really wanted to make this piece. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching one last time. If you guys don't know, I have set up a Patreon and if you could spare a few bucks a month, I would really appreciate, I would really appreciate it. If you could support me and pledge on my current Patreon. So, yep. Bye. Thank you for watching. Love you all. Not in a weird way.